All right, guys, so I've just rocked up to Gatwick North Terminal. Uh, it's like a ghost town here. Uh, today is the day I'm going to go over to Faro in Portugal, and we're going to drive down to uh, Luz, Lagos area, in between those, those two. And I'm involved in a property development, 35 luxury villas plus two apartment buildings. And uh, I decided to just run it as a, a daily vlog. So I'm gonna be sharing with you each and every day what the process is, what my involvement is, how I'm able to get involved with a, a deal like this without sacrificing liquidity and each and every step of the deal and the project really. So as soon as we land, we'll meet, meet in the project team. Um, I'll introduce you to those. And then we're gonna meet the landowners. We're gonna be meeting the estate agents. We're gonna meet the project team, the, the builders. So I'm excited about that. And also it will just give me some a chance to finish off some other work that I've got going on. But until then, I've got a couple of hours till the flight. So let's take a look at the charts. All right, just landed in Portugal, got picked up by Mick. All right, Mick. <laughs> We're gonna go to the hotel, um, just chuck everything there. Gonna do it, sort of take care of some other uh, work and then we're gonna go and check out the site have a look around and then uh, tomorrow we're going to meet the architects the council and the lawyer so um, yeah keep you updated I just got to the hotel so uh, just checking out the room let's uh, let's see the view here then That'll do nicely. All right, so I'm just going ready to go and have a little wander around the site and have a look around and look at some other local properties as well. Uh, similar properties is the one we're gonna be building. Uh, but some, this is some of the paperwork. All right, so this is the plot. This is the main plot. We've actually got to um, do this bit of road work that comes off of the roundabout and then all of the properties go uh, up on this plot here. And the apartment buildings are here. Here's some kind of artist impressions of what they are gonna look like. And this is a couple of other artist impressions. This is a bit more detail on the plot itself in terms of borders. And uh, I'm not gonna go through the costings. I'm gonna show you that a different time. I'm gonna show you that later. So I'm gonna show you all the costings later. I'm gonna go break down all, how much it's all costing, what my involvement is, what the profit is, and all the rest of it. I'll talk you through that later on in the vlog. But essentially the build, the original build is 28 apartments across two apartment buildings, so 14 in each. And then there's 14 townhouses, and then there's 36 luxury villas, 30 which are two bedroom, and six which are three bedroom. But we're gonna be changing that to do about 24 to 26 three bedroom luxury villas instead of the two bedrooms. So I'm gonna show you what's involved in making the changes, the original plans, who gets involved with that and how we do it. And uh, yeah, let's go and take a look at the land. But first, let's take a look at this hotel pool. I've definitely worked in worse places than this. I could definitely get used to working here for a few days. I can put up this. <laughs> Not bad. So this is the site, part of the site. This is where the uh, this is where the townhouses are being built. Over there is where the uh, apartment buildings are being built, and then all the way, all the way up there is where we're building the villas. So that's the land, just gonna chuck in my stuff into the room and then uh, go and have some food and then I'll show you guys some numbers. All right, so I'm just doing some research on the local rent and the local purchasing prices for similar properties. And this will be important when I explain to you why. All right, so the day's over and uh, I finally had some food. <laughs> 
But the thing is this, I said I'd let you in on some numbers and tomorrow we've got the meetings with the lawyers, with the architects and with the council. And the thing is this, what we've been discussing is some numbers and over the properties. So just so that you guys know, there's 36 luxury villas, okay? 32 bedroom, six, uh, three bedroom. And then there's 28 apartments, which is 14 in each apartment block and then 14 townhouses. One of the things that builders go for when they're trying to secure property or they're trying to do a development where they're going to build property and knowingly they're going to you know build property what they try and do is in portugal specifically and in spain and in some other countries is based on the area um th what they'll do is they'll go for less bedrooms so on the proposal they'll put less bedrooms because they'll get more for the square foot so they'll get approval in terms of planning permission for more than the square foot so what does that mean that means that basically they've gone for two bedrooms right to get more houses now the thing is this a two bedroom villa over here after all the research that i've done today and over all the research that i've done historically and what i've been talking to local residents about today a two bedroom villa in the area we're looking is probably going to fetch around 700 800 thousand euros max now if you was to have a third bedroom that's going to double the price. Uh, we're looking at 1.2 to 1.4 million euros, pretty much double the price. So what we're going to do to deal with tomorrow is to instead of doing 36 luxury villas, two bedroom, 30, three bedroom, six, we're gonna go for 24 to 26 three bedroom villas. Now in terms of profit, what that means is, at the moment we're sitting at around 32 million for the entire build with about an 18 million profit um, If we can get the three bedrooms built it will be the same build price But the profit will be about 24 to 26 million So that's a huge difference in profit in bottom line and and that's what we're going to be looking at uh, negotiating tomorrow in tomorrow's meeting with the lawyers and the council and the and the uh, architects so I'm going to bed now, but if you're enjoying this series, let me know by hitting the like button. And tomorrow we're going to be getting stuck right into the nitty gritty, going to be doing some negotiations and uh, I'll let you in on some more insights on this development. So thanks for watching guys and uh, good night and I'll see you tomorrow.